If you've ever seen graphics with blurred and gritty text like these ones but don't really know where to start for making something like this for yourself, I've got you with this super simple 4 minute video. So today I'm going to be talking about how to get super simple text like this into something that looks like this. Although the effect appears complex and difficult to achieve, it's actually very simple and can be done in under four minutes. All right, let's get started. So the first step is just to write out your text. You could make it any font you want, any size and any design. You could use an image, but I just use the word blur. So the next step is to uh, change our text layer to a smart object. So that's going to let us sort of adjust our effects throughout the process of making our text. The first effect we're going to do is just put on a threshold filter over our layer. And then the next effect is just to put a Gaussian blur over the text layer. Uh, you can adjust this however you want. And that sort of just gives it this bleeding effect. From there, you can just play around with the two filters until you get something that you like. The next step is to add a gradient map. So what that does is breaks down the values within your image and then assigns each one a color. Looking over on the right, you can see a panel with all your gradient maps. You can import them, export them, save them. So here's a couple presets I have, but for now, I'm just gonna go with this one right here. So the next thing we're trying to do is give it a glow. So how we're going to do this is duplicating our text layer and then just pulling the duplicated layer underneath our original layer. Now here comes the really important part. So there's this really small button up at the top, which is going to make it so the threshold only applies to the layer below it. Now that those are applied, our image is starting to take shape. Now we can manipulate the blur over on the right to get different glow effects. So the next step is getting into texturing and getting everything to have its finished look. So what I do is go on these free texture websites such as this one, Pexels, and you can look up any royalty free stock images, textures, and graphics. Images like this are perfect for creating the effect we're going after. So in my case, I'm just going to use this wax texture that I already had from the website. So you're just going to go ahead and throw that over your image and then go over to the blending styles and just sort of play around with them until you get something that works with the texture. For mine, I found that linear dodge worked the best. So with this image, I think the more the better. So I'm going to go ahead and throw another texture over that and it's going to be a scratch instead of wax. And then I'm just going to do the same process going over to the blending styles and playing around with it until I find something I like. The next thing we can do is play around with how the layers are arranged in our textures, putting them under the gradient map to see if we like any of the colorways or outputs that it gives us. And then I was feeling crazy, so I said, why not go ahead and throw another texture on that? So I found this corduroy texture right off someone's pants. And once again, just playing around with the blending modes and then moving them around under the gradient map. This is what I settled on and I thought it was a pretty cool graphic. And then the last thing you can do is just play around with gradient maps and sort of just figure out different colorways that look good with your piece. As you can see by the timer in the bottom left, this effect does not take long to make. We were able to take this simple text and create a detailed graphic. The thing that makes this effect so great is that there are so many different styles and directions to take with it.